What's up everybody? Today in this time lapse video I'm going to show you how I approach my own UI designs. This design here is for the landing page of the upcoming interactive CSS course that I'm launching. And I figured it'd be cool for you all to see how I approach layout design from scratch and how it's quite messy and I'm always changing my mind about stuff. Now, I really wanted a cool, unique illustration for the hero section, so you'll see me refer back to UI8.net several times in search of said illustration, but ultimately, you'll see that I create my own thing from scratch. In a few seconds, you're going to see me by accident move the white background rectangle in the hero section, and I actually like the aesthetic that this provides and decide to keep it. Now for this illustration, I wanted to do something abstract that really features the CSS acronym. Because this course is strongly focused on layout design, I wanted to portray that in a simple and abstract manner. Here, you're going to see me create some accent graphics with the pen tool. These types of accents can make an otherwise plain and boring design a little bit more interesting. One of the primary things that I wanted to emphasize about this course early on is that you get to learn layout creation with CSS by creating designs that look really good. All too often developers who can't design teach CSS and the end results are just so unsatisfying. So I'm making this a priority by placing it just after the hero section. Now I duplicate the layout here because I'm not sure if I want to fade the little sample components or if I want to rotate them as well. So duplicating the layouts allows me to compare these decisions side by side. In a previous YouTube video, I showed you all how to make UI kits in Figma. For that video, I made a testimonials UI kit. And so here, I'm deciding to make use of that kit to put in a few testimonials in the layout. Now, one of the really cool things about this course is the fact that it's not just video. We will have coding tests where you write HTML and CSS in the browser in, in order to complete layouts. This is definitely something worth emphasizing here, and for the screenshot, I will likely use an animated GIF of some sort.
And once again, I'm not sure if I want to change the background color here to white or green, so I've replicated the frames for comparison. And here's the look at the first draft of the landing page. So things will definitely change here, but this is the first round of design, so you know it's not going to be perfect. So hopefully you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon. And of course, if you're interested in taking the interactive CSS course, check out designcourse.com forward slash CSS and enter your email to be notified when it releases here in a couple months. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout.